What is up guys, MKBHD here, back with a quick video that I wasn't expecting to make on something that came out today from Samsung's announcements. This phone you're looking at here kind of looks a lot like a Galaxy Note 4. I just did an impressions video on one. You might not be able to tell the difference, except that it's totally weird. Uh, this is the thing now, this is the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. And yes, this is absolutely another one of Samsung's crazy, let's try everything phones that's actually coming to life. Uh, and to be fair, when the Galaxy Note first came out, it was another crazy experiment, but now they're everywhere. So maybe this is one of those things that looks crazy now, but you know, might look totally normal in the future, who knows? So this is the Note Edge. It's clearly nearly identical to the Galaxy Note 4, its brother, it has all the same internal specs, all the same software, same camera, same everything, but it has some extra display hanging off the edge. And that's what they call it, the edge display or the edge screen. So here's how it works. Up front, on the front is a 5.6 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display. It's fantastic. So again, super high pixel density here. And then curved over on the right hand side is an additional 160 pixel wide strip of display. And that's it. That's what this phone is all about. I figured I'd show it to you guys because you're probably gonna start hearing about it on the news as Samsung's crazy new curved display, but it's really not all that crazy. It already has the super high-end specs that we know are going to perform well from the Note 4, so it's really all about whether or not this awkward shape can actually help using the phone instead of hurting it. So Samsung's built in a bunch of different features into the software to work just on that strip that you can swipe between. There's sports cores, custom messages, Twitter trending topics, even an alarm clock mode that'll just show the time super dim. But what's really cool, or at least what can make this really cool, is that Samsung is giving out an SDK for developers to be able to make apps that actually use this strip. It's called the Edge Screen. There's already a bunch of settings and a bunch of things to pick from. But the other thing people aren't talking about is when you really wanna take advantage of that entire front display, that strip needs to get out the way. And when I spend time with it, it looks like it does a pretty decent job of doing so. So like when I'm watching a YouTube video and I go full screen, the bar disappears. So it's fine, it leaves this faint text that says my Galaxy Note Edge, but I think it should really be just pitch black. And then when I wanna bring it back, I can swipe in at any time, move around between them. And when I wanna go full screen again, I can just tap the video again and it goes back to full screen. So as long as it's this seamless, it seems like it will be out of my way when I don't want it. Uh, and it's actually kind of hard to tell where the flat part of the screen ends and the curved part begins because the graphics overlap so often. I think the one thing they drew up pretty well is these quick tools, which are a swipe down from the side and they provide this quick access anywhere to tools like a stopwatch, a voice recorder, or even a ruler. And what makes them so great is they operate entirely in the side panel. So they're not like a window hovering over the top of your main activity. This is true multitasking because they're just over the side next to what you're doing. They're not interrupting. That's pretty legit. Also, it left me wondering a couple things like which hand am I supposed to use this in? Are lefties not supposed to use this? Am I crazy for, for thinking this actually looks kind of cool? I don't know. I figured I would show it to you guys. It's obviously a bit of a weird experiment, but something I felt the need to get on video. If you're into the Note 4, this is something that's literally going to show up in stores alongside the Note 4 when it comes out. The only difference is gonna be the edge screen and the slightly smaller 3000 milliamp hour battery since the curve kind of takes away some space. But honestly, the one that's gonna decide whether or not this succeeds or fails is you. Cause it's again, it's another one of those Samsung throw it out the wall, see if it sticks experiments. So what do you think? Even after just watching videos on it, I honestly don't know how I feel. I held one, I messed around with one. I still don't know how I feel. Obviously it has a lot of the same advantages of the Note 4 with the S Pen, the camera, huge display, aluminum. But on the other hand, it still seems really awkward and unnecessary and cumbersome. But that was only after an hour of use. So let me know your thoughts. The comment section right below that like button is always open. Thanks for watching this quick one and stay tuned for the next because September is just getting started. Talk to you guys later.